sponsored by the Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of the Bobby Bones Show. You know, I've been keeping up with you on social media, and it's like you are everywhere right now. I am like that song. I've been everywhere, and I'm going everywhere. It seems like every time I turn around, I'm, I'm somewhere else, uh, always on the road. Well, especially bouncing between, you know, North Carolina and Nashville, which are kind of both your homes right now, right? Pretty much so. Um, I, I have a, a, you know, my home in North Carolina, but I have a huge family here in France and Circle, and mm -hmm. um, I, you know, just I've been coming back and forth and just having just the best time making music and writing music and recording, and just everything just keeps falling into place. Well, I tell you what, you know, and, and we were talking before we came in the studio about how great you do with your social media <laughs> and the following that you have on TikTok now. TikTok is where it's at. I mean, I love Facebook and Instagram, but TikTok is where it's at. I'm, I'm up to, um, well, there's others that have like millions and millions, but for right. this little Canton girl, I've got like 100, almost 150,000 followers in That's a pretty huge. short time. So it's just an, an awesome um, media outlet yeah. that helps me get my music out and, and actually just get my personality out there. People right. get to kind of know who I am and my little boy and just and music. And so it's awesome. Well, and all your performances, you know, and listening to Unleashed, uh, you know, what I love about it, you know, your voice really shines through. But uh, but also, you know, some of the songs are kind of autobiographical. They every almost every one of them. I wrote nine of the twelve songs right. that's on Unleashed. And there's actually an, an extra track on there of my dad and myself when I was seven years old, and he was a cab driver, mm -hmm. and he passed away when I was eleven. So that's the only thing that I have of him is this little clip of us singing "Rolling Your Sweet Baby's Arms." Wow. So I wanted to put that for everybody to be able to have a piece of me in my heart with my dad. Because um, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be the singer that I am. I wouldn't be the songwriter. I wouldn't have this dream and this passion and this drive. Um, because one day I want to be on the, the Grand Ole Opry, and that is, it comes from my dad always telling me, you're going to be on the Opry one day. I'm going to be there in the front row. Wow. And I know that he won't physically be there one no. day, but one day I'll be there, and he's going to be smiling down from heaven. There's so, no question. But yeah, all the songs, it starts off, you know, Carolina, and Carolina basically mm -hmm. tells my story. It's a tribute to my mom and dad, how yeah. I grew up. Um, you know, I kind of grew up pretty, you know, everybody's got their story, yeah. but I grew up, you know, pretty, pretty poor and, um, you know, really hard. Didn't know whether or not, you know, our rent was going to be paid from month to month if we going to be evicted or if our power is going to be on. And, right. you know, a little girl, you know, going through life um, like that, you know, it made me have to grow up really quick. Mm -hmm. And, um, but I'm very proud of my mom and dad and what they did and all the, the morals that they instilled in me. Right. So, um, you know, that's most definitely where it's at. You know, that's yeah. stuff that money can't buy. No. So, <laughs> no, and it's giving you your foundation. I mean, I think that comes through in your songs. I was going to bring up too, you know, that your father started teaching you guitar at seven. Yes. You know, not only were you singing with him, <laughs> and that kind of took you on into, you know, high school with, oh, you yeah. know, being involved in chorus and everything. Yes. And then, and then some people may not know this about you that uh, you went on to do backup vocals for a few members of Leonard Skinner. Yes, that, when I was in my, my, my 20s, um, I did get asked to go on the road and I got to fly to New York City. It was the first time I was ever on a plane, ever. <laughs> it was like, I was like, oh, please, please let this plane land. And all I could hear was Freebird playing in my mind, you know, I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, but no, Artemis and Paul, he is just awesome. I'm actually yeah. getting ready to open for him next year. I just found out for him, so after 20 years of us knowing each other, right. it kind of comes full circle and I get to do a show opening for them and stuff. Oh, so, um, but yeah, that was an amazing uh, moment of getting to stand in between the original Honkettes, right. uh, Leslie Hawkins and Jojo Billingsley, and get to sing the Skinner songs that they, you know, they got to sing on, you know, 20 years prior to that, or 30 right. years prior to that on stage. and. Um, what it's an amazing. incredible experience. It, it most definitely, when I came back to my cover band at that, you know, that yeah. time, it made, it gave me a lot of self-confidence. I felt like I was like, I was on stage with them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, it did give me a lot more confidence. It ups to come your game. Back. It did. It was, and it was just memories that I'll never forget, like right. being in the, being in the uh, elevator uh, with JoJo singing Proud Mary, you know, in Long Island, New York, you know, just, and some of the, the special stories that she shared with me mm -hmm. of her time with Ronnie Van Zant and the guys from Skinner. Oh um, you know, those are moments that like, I mean, it, you just can't 
you just can't replace. I right. mean, those I'll always have those cherished memories of her. So that was awesome. And being a part of that. Well, and I was going to bring up too with your uh, single daddy's little girl. Uh, you know, it, yeah. you, you got reached out to. A, a, a video from Lori Morgan. How did all this come together? Well, that was, oh, it was so awesome. Like, okay, so my idols have always been, I, mean, I grew up listening to Patsy Cline and Hank Sr., but Lori Morgan and the Judds are my, my idols, you know, and they are who molded me to who I am today. Lori yeah. Morgan, though, is who I looked at when I saw her up on stage. I'm like, oh, that's what my daddy was talking about. I want to look like her on that stage, <laughs> you know. So my first song that I ever did on stage, I was in 10th grade at chorus and right. for like the, the country show and I did except for Monday. And so I had reached out to her husband, Randy, and just kind of told my story yeah. and everything and told her about Daddy's Little Girl because that was the first song I ever wrote. I just started writing songs about two and a half years ago. Amazing. Yeah. And Daddy's Little Girl was the first song that I wrote. Yeah. And it was about just growing up and, and with my dad and him teaching me how to play the guitar and just missing him and him, you know, him passing away. And Lori sent me not one but two videos the second video had her and her granddaughter um in there as well uh, but they were congratulating me and she was saying that she used to be her daddy's spoiled little brat <laughs> so i mean it was just it was just such a sweet gesture from her to do mm -hmm. that and then i later on got to meet her in panama city um, and she signed my guitar and i got to go and meet her there so wow. it was super super awesome and then you know then with the judds you know, I got to go see Winona um, several months ago, and then I know we're going to get into the other part, but right. you know, there's a lot of ties that ties into the Judds and, and me getting to honor them because they were such a huge, you know, influence in my life and right. still, still, they still are today. Um, yeah, well, and you've had so much going on, you know, in such a short span of time to where, you know, your your uh, EP Undamaged came out in 2021. Yes. And then you've got Unleashed out now. <laughs> yes. And then you've got another new album coming out this uh, this fall or winter. Yes. A and gospel. It's a gospel album, and it's called Crossroads. And um, it's just, there, it's going to be filled with a lot of the older hymns that I grew up. My mom would take me to every little tent revival and like, the, you know, every, every night we was in a church, you yeah. know. So I remember singing, you know, the How Great Thou Art and, you know, the Amazing Grace and just In the Garden, yeah. Precious Lord. So all those older hymns are going to be on this album along with some amazing artists. Um, I just found out I get to do a duet with Tony Jackson. Wow. <gasps> <laughs> I love him and love his music. Yeah. He is just super awesome and such an amazing person too. So humble and so grounded and just, just truly nice. Um, and so I've got him going to be on there. T. Graham Brown, who I have performed with on stage before and right. he calls me his little buddy. He is super awesome too, him and Sheila. Yeah. And um, also I found out that a couple members of the Isaacs are going to be singing with me on uh, one of my songs, How Great Thou Art. Incredible. Um, so just amazing, amazing things keep happening. And I know that God keeps blessing me with them. And, um, and he gave me a song called Change the Ending. And I wrote this song right after Naomi passed. Right. And, you know, I drew from that because, like I said, I grew up hard. And when I said that, my mom um, was a recovering alcoholic. Mm. And so she went through a lot of depression when I was a little girl. And so when I heard Naomi's story, it really brought me back to my childhood, having to come home. My dad would be gone and I would have to kind of fend for myself, right. you know, and my mom would be like stuck in the bedroom for days and days with mm. blankets on the, the, the windows, you know, but you know, that was part of her depression, you right. know? And so, you know, I know she, she drew to different things to help with her depression and some people, they, their endings don't change. Right. And so this, this song God gave to me and it's talk, it talks about, you know, when you're at your lowest, you know, there's nobody around, but you know, look to God and mm -hmm. um, you know, and he might not be able to change the beginning, but please help me change the ending. Right. And so I wrote this song and I was able to, and I just rec uh, released the video and, and the song and the video, half of the videos filmed at Naomi's home. Wow. Uh, Larry Strickland, he has actually helped produce uh, three or four of the, four of the tracks that's going to be on the gospel album. Incredible. And I hadn't told you that. Yeah, no See? kidding. <laughs> Jeez, you got so much going on. Yes, and John Heinrich, he has um, produced the rest of them, uh, and then a couple others going to be at Omni Studios here in Nashville who 
he, Bill McDermott's the one that did both of my albums at Omni Studios, and he is just super awesome. Um, but I most definitely wanted this gospel album just to be a labor of love, and, and it has. People have come out and just helped me with this, this album right. and made it all come together. What a great timing for it. It really is. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, it's just a time to just, um, you know, give thanks to God and, and appreciate every day yeah. that you have and, and leave somebody better than what you find them. Right. You know, that's my logo. That's what I always try to do. I always try to leave somebody feeling better yeah. than when I first meet them, totally. you know, so. Well, I can't wait to hear the new album with that. And obviously, Unleashed is already out now. I've got to bring up, too, your single that's been so popular, ah. uh, Working Girl Blues, <laughs> that, you know, uh, once again, you had a few big names on that, yes. including, you know, Pam Tillis, Leroy Parnell. Leona Williams. Leona Williams. And Leona Williams, if you do not know who Leona Williams is, go go check her out. She is, to me, the queen of country music. Um, she it was married to Merle Haggard. Mm -hmm. And they had duets together, um, and literally, she is the one that recorded Working Girl Blues and changed it to that, right. you know, from Merle. And uh, but I, I listened to her, and I'm like, okay, I have, I love her. I've got to meet her, and I want her. She has to be on this this song with me. Right. I mean, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. So then my producer's like, okay, well, we'll reach out to Pam, tell us, and like, I'm like. Okay, <laughs> really? So he sends the track over to Pam, and my producer calls me, and he's like, you know, Lee, he said, I was not meaning anything about your singing. He said, but I didn't think she would reach out that quick. And it was yeah. like 30 minutes. She's like, I am in. So wow. I love this girl's voice, and I'm in. So, of course, that was just huge to me. I was like, Pam Tillis is yeah. going to be on my album. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, Leroy Parnell. Uh, and, 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 and having Leroy Parnell play the slide guitar oh. on this, I mean, he is like... Killer, yes. killer. So mm -hmm. <laughs> My producer was like, if anybody even asks me if Leroy Parnell can still play, like, uh, yes, he sure can. <laughs> um, <laughs> but he um, actually did this song with Diamond Rio and Steve Warner back in like right. the 90s. Oh, 80s, yeah. That was 80s or 90s. But they, they released Working Man Blues mm -hmm. and they did a whole little thing of what I've done with this girl version. So having Leroy on here too. Right. Uh, Eugene Moles is on guitar. He played with Merle Haggard. Right. Joe Reed, he played the bass line. He played also with Merle Haggard and Unreal. plays with Ben now. So mm -hmm. it was just truly, that, that song was just magic and it all came together and the ending result has been, I mean, it's getting played everywhere. I and mean, you haven't even released it yet. And really. I haven't really officially released it, but one of the guys um, at the radio station she's like, well, it's released now because I've been playing it everywhere. <laughs> so it has been it's, been, it's been going everywhere. So I'm super excited. Well, I'll tell you what, a lot of great things <laughs> happening for you. I want to make sure for our viewers also that they know where to find you on the web, on social media. I know you've got some big shows coming up this fall and winter and even next yes. year, T.G. Shepard, I mean, you're, you're The Gatlin sharing. Brothers, I said the Gatlin Brothers, T.G. Shepard, uh, William Lee Golden and the Goldens. You know, I just opened for Ronnie Millsap, right. Diamond Rio. I mean, it's been just amazing. It's been a good year. It has been a great <laughs> two years. It, God is so good. <laughs> well, I want to make sure our viewers know where to go for your web, social media, and everything, Lee. Where should they go? Um, go to Lee Newton Music. Um, it's it's uh, Lee Newton Official. Uh, dot com and that's my my official website it has the tour dates on there where where to find me it has all my social media links so just go to lee newton official and please follow me on all social media i will follow back i am one of those artists that love to talk back to everybody and especially on tiktok especially on tiktok i'm gonna do a tiktok here i'm gonna get eric to do a dance with me that could be frightening <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you what's not frightening. It, the album is still available. It came out in 2021, which is Undamaged, and the new album, Unleashed. And also be sure and follow Lee so that you know about the, uh, the gospel album coming out this November, yeah. which is Crossroads. Crossroads. November 1st, it'll be coming out. So, yeah, so incredible. Yeah. Lee Newton, thank you so much for coming thank on you. the show. Thank you, Eric. Love your voice. So many great things going on. Can't wait to see you in concert. Too. Well, thank you so much. I can't wait. All right. Be sure and follow her and get the music. Sponsored by The Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bones show.